Good morning, guys. Thank you for joining me again for my morning coffee. Uh, so this morning I'm thinking about how important it is to say no to good work, <laughs> which sounds crazy. You're probably thinking, why in the heck would you say no to good work? Well, it's important to say no to good work that's not within your area of expertise or sometimes an area where you have already, you've already created content. So I got a, an email uh, earlier this week from a client that I love doing work for. I've done a couple of things for this association and the leader that reached out to me, adore her. Um, and it was on a negotiation. So what she asked was if I could put together a webinar or deliver a webinar on negotiation. And I almost wrote back and said, yes, I'll do it. Um, I'd love to talk to you about the, you know, the details so that I can put that together. But the thing is, is I don't have content already created for just negotiation. Now I do have negotiating your compensation and it's primarily geared towards women, although I have had men attend and they get a, a lot out of it. It's just that women typically, we don't do great at negotiating our, our salaries or our, um, our offer packages. So that's what that content was about. But she was looking for something around uh, for managers, for leaders, you know, teaching them how to negotiate. And I could have done the research and I could have put together a very good program. The thing is, is I don't have that content ready to roll. And it's really not in the, the area of expertise that, that I generally speak on and I do programs on. So it had taken me a lot of time and I, you know, who knows it, it I think it would have been a good a good piece of content but it might not have been great because it just it's it's not what I typically do so I took a deep breath and wrote her back and said I you know I have it on negotiating your compensation that's really not within my wheelhouse and I just feel like I wouldn't be the best facilitator for it and she wrote me a really nice note back and said how much she appreciated my my candor and it, it's hard to do, and especially when you're an entrepreneur, if you don't have a full book of business, it's really hard to say no, right? Because that's potential income coming in. That's um, getting tighter with a client. And so we want to say yes. And it's just so important to take a step back and say, you know what, that's really not within my sweet spot. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna explain that and I'll, I'll decline the offer. Now on the other side, I've had two amazing opportunities come in over the last couple of days. One's a, a more long-term that's right inside that sweet spot of what I do. And then the other one is a, um, a potential two hour presentation for a group in Singapore. I've done similar work for a group here in Phoenix. Um, at, it was like a little, I don't know, about a year ago. And then this group in Singapore reached out and said, hey, you know, we'd, we'd love to have you do a remote, a virtual program for us, which is so cool, right in the middle of where my expertise is and where I know that I can add a lot of value. So um, if you are an entrepreneur who is uh, looking at opportunities that are not really within the area that you have expertise or you want to grow your business, it's important to say no to those and do it tactfully. And if you're thinking about starting a business, be really, really clear with yourself on what you're gonna do um, and who you're going to serve. I think most of us, when we start out, we, get, we spread really, really wide, right? Because we don't wanna say no and we wanna serve as many people as we can. It's so much better for you because your time will be spent doing things that are really within your zone of brilliance. And when you do those programs and services, you bring so much more value to the participants that you're going to be serving. So anyway, I said no, it still hurts, uh, but I know it's the right thing to do and I will have other opportunities with that client because we've built that relationship. Hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will see you on Monday.